These are examples of the rolling wave pattern. I've discussed it in quite a bit of detail in a blog <clears throat> at americansongwriter.com and you can look it up there. Um, I just want to mention it uh, in passing here because it resembles a pickup beat but it's not the same thing. The difference between the rolling wave pattern and the pickup beat is that <clears throat> the pickup beat often uh, extends through a continuous stream of notes uh, over many measures. The rolling wave is different in that <clears throat> it deliberately puts comma marks in between uh, groups of uh, melody notes that have only one downbeat in them. And that's what is shown in these two examples. So the cool effect of the of the rolling wave pattern is to build suspense. If you <clears throat> take a line, a line like a blues line, like, um, well, I'm going to the station, and you just spill it all out all at once. It doesn't have the same effect as if you break it up into two sections. Here's the first section. Here's the second section. Um, Da 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 de da da with a pause in between. Well, I'm going to the station. Uh, much more suspenseful than well, I'm going to the station. And the, and the rolling wave is a very effective device in the second example, which comes from um, a song by Jerry Goffin and Carol King called "One Fine Day." I'm sure you all know. Um, <clears throat> the first line is "One fine day you'll look at me." That really doesn't have much uh, drama in it, but then you break it into two sections. Right here, and you have one fine day. What happens? You'll look at me. And it's also emotional. It feels like uh, the emotion is so strong that the singer, Carol King, has to hold back for the second half of the line. Uh, only two notes in the melody. Quite remarkable to get so much emotion out of, to ring so much emotion out of two notes. One, one fine day, not much happening in terms of notes, but rhythmically uh, something very dramatic. Also, when you repeat a, a pair of notes like that, it does build suspense, which pays off, which you can use to pay off later, and we'll talk about that technique uh, later in melodic form and song form. Be sure to incorporate rolling wave patterns into your rhythmic vocabulary because the patterns that, that don't use the rolling wave um, tend to sound very square. They don't offer the uh, poetic opportunities that the rolling, wa rolling wave pattern does to build suspense. Anyway, that's all we need to say about the rolling wave pattern right now. Just become aware of it, keep looking for it and listening for it, and then be sure to use it in your dialogue games. And to make sure that you use it, I'll have some examples up here on the board.